Hi guys, it's Steph. I have uh, some dreams and scriptures to release to you today. So, the night of November 6th, I received two dreams and scriptures that followed along the next morning. So, I'm going to go ahead and jump in. So, I had a, a dream of the word Mark. Um, and then I heard it. Um, and then he took something very symbolic to me to catch my attention. Uh, I, I'll show it to you. I've got it right here. So this was a gift to me and my husband. So he took this and showed this to me. And he cut it in half. And I don't know why he cut it in half, but he molded it into a capital letter H. And he let it sit there for a minute, so I really understood that he was saying capital letter H. So then the clip ended. And then I had a dream about snakes. So I was surrounded by snakes, and they were hissing and snapping, but I never got bit. Um, and I didn't know what kind of snakes they were. But I know, like, the image very, bit, like, very, like, well. But I was just, I thought I was just having a bad dream with that one. So the next morning I got scriptures. Ezekiel 9. God's mark on the foreheads. Slay the ones who don't have it. So then I started understanding this dream that I got. Then I didn't understand why I got the letter, the capital letter H. And I was trying to pick it apart because it was a, it was another symbolic thing. So I had a conversation with my husband that evening. And he asked me, what language did Jesus speak? And it's Hebrew. He's talking about Hebrew. So when I looked up the letter H meaning in Hebrew, it's often to represent God as an abbreviation, okay? It means the name and is a way of saying God without actually saying God, which is really like cool when, when, um, when we figured this out, I'm still kind of like really excited, you know, that he, he's showing me Hebrew letters and what they actually mean in my dreams. But I'm going to go ahead and continue. So, after I received Ezekiel 9, a couple hours later, I went into deep prayer. And this is what he said to me. Soon they will see my face and seek my name. And then he goes, the war is far from over. My prophets are speaking. So after I, I receive this in my prayer, I get Jeremiah 8. He's talking about false prophets. Then he goes on in Jeremiah 8, 17. I will send venomous snakes among you, vipers, that cannot be charmed, and they will bite you, says the Lord. So, me thinking, oh, I just had a dream about being around snakes. I look up a viper, and it's the same snake in my dream. Same snake. So then I continue on to get a couple more scriptures. Matthew 24. He's talking about Jesus departing from the temple. He's talking about end of days and false prophets. He also says we do not know the day or hour he is coming back. So I'm going to continue. Then I get... Hosea 5, same day, judgment against Israel, they do not acknowledge the Lord, 
When they go with flocks and herds to seek the Lord, they will not find him. Raise the battle, battle city. Then I will return to my lair until they have borne their guilt and seek my face. In their misery, they will earnestly seek me. It's exactly what he told me hours before. So I, I go to work, things to do, and I'm at work, and I see Amos 3. So I look it up real quick on my phone, and it says, The Lord will do nothing without revealing his secrets to his servants, the prophets. So he's speaking to his prophets. So then... I am praying about, about like, you know, things that he wants me to say when I'm releasing to this, you know, when I'm releasing this video. And this is what he says to me. Sorry. They think they won and are celebrating. Soon the celebration will turn into their funeral. God always wins. And for the people who are selling out, leave them to God. The mark of every believer is on their foreheads. And whoever doesn't have the mark of the capital letter H in Hebrew, meaning God, will be slain. Right now, false prophets are speaking false prophecies. This is a trick to the minds of the believers. God is telling his secrets to his messengers, his prophets. Soon, God will send the vipers and bite the ones who are deceitful. Let God work. This is part of the plan. And right now, the storm is here. Pray and have faith that things will be uncovered. We have been preparing for this for a while now. Get yourselves ready because the war is far from over. So then I pray on it and I say, I, I asked God, I said, isn't, isn't that, you know, a little, a little aggressive? And he says, yes, but it's something they need to hear. So I just wanted to go ahead and release to you the word that he's, he's given me and the message that he wanted me to say. Have faith. Pray, because things are coming and things are, will be uncovered. Thank you for listening. Have a wonderful day.